My name is Austin Stanfield with Creative Recreational Systems and today I'm going to be talking about a featured project called RV49 located in Plymouth, California. This is a new project with a nature theme. <laughs> this custom design was to create a combination structure with the traditional post and deck system paired with a freeform fitness section while staying true to the theme of the surroundings. Plymouth is a city in Amador, California. The population in 2010 was 1,005 people. The town was originally named Pokerville when it was settled during the time of the gold rush. Plymouth is commonly known as the gateway to the Shenandoah Valley, a popular wine producing region in the Sierra foothills. The lone band of Miwok Indians is headquartered in Plymouth. Historic Highway 49 passes through Plymouth. Highway 49 is the scenic route connecting many of the historic towns of the California gold country. The town of Plymouth evolved in different ways than other mining towns. Notice the detail in the simulated tree stumps and tunnels made out of glass fiber reinforced concrete. There was not a single discovery of gold or defining site that became the center of activity. The town was established in 1873, long after the mining camps had already become ghost towns. A single owner purchased and combined several mining camps. He called his new company Plymouth after one of the mines in the area. The trading post was both a company headquarters and a commissionary for Plymouth. The Plymouth mine specifically produced more than $13.5 million in gold and continued to be worked until 1947. The Anti-Debris Act rendered in 1883 made hydraulic mining illegal. People moved on to other diggings and the places that they left behind, Amador County was one of the most productive of the mother load counties. The mining shafts were reported to be among the deepest in the world. Mining continues in select areas today. All right, so I hope you like this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one.